Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy or Amy Louise. Hopefully you know that watching this channel. If you are new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I am getting my chest tattooed technically tomorrow because I'm being an egg beaver and starting the process right now. Um, it is 10 to 6. The evening before, my appointment is at 10 o'clock tomorrow. I'm getting all of this covered and I cannot wait. Uh, please ignore the fact that I clearly need to re-dye my blue bits. Um, Cause they're, they're janky, but I'm gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna have a bath. Um, I'm not going to be able to have a bath for a couple of days. I'm going to like have to, I don't have a shower. So because it's on my chest, um, I'm going to strip wash for like two days. Um, just going to be fun. But I've got the weekend off, so I'll be smelly in my own company. Um, so yeah, um, so it's the same guy that did all of this beautiful work he's done most of my work he didn't do this this may be an issue i will pop on the screen somewhere the design that he's just sent me and i am very 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 excited and in love and just oh it's so beautiful um but it's basically two big peonies a rose in the center and then in spanish up here like the collarbone area it is my family come first comes first which is me familiar is primero um so that is going like on the collarbone and it's gonna come to mm, here ish it's gonna come quite a little down um i do have i do have pasties sorry i covered the camera um i do have pasties for the girls um because i don't know the whole stitch i'm gonna be honest um i've been watching youtube videos um of women getting their chest tattooed and honestly there's not a lot of them some are just wearing like a little strappy vest up others are fully like naked from the waist up <laughs> which i do not want to do but i'm gonna wear like a black strappy top with a shirt over it i think and some jeans that is my plan um but yeah i've been at work all day so i'm a bit of a mess i'm going to go for a bath dye my hair and i will see you in the morning ready to rock and roll good morning so I'm just getting ready. I've got like a half of my face make on. My kid is destroying my house apparently. I'm gonna, I got these little nipple patches, nipple pasties off of Shein. I think you get like four sets for like two pound or something. So I'm gonna pop these on. I've just got black strapped up on some jeans and i'm gonna put on like a little flannel shirt just as like a cover up um it's a really really nice day outside so far it's not even nine o'clock in the morning yet um <laughs> it's like eight o'clock but it looks really nice so i'm thinking that if i do have to take my top and bra off i've got pasties and i've got something to kind of like cover myself with a little bit so that is the plan for now hi guys okay so i got done about three hours ago I had to go get my son from his grandma's um but yeah this is about two and a half hours let me move my shirt uh so i got done about half past 12 i started at 10 o'clock so about two and a half hours this is all the line work it goes my boobs a little bit 
Um, I've got second skin on, so it looks a little janky, but <clears throat> um, yeah, this is how we are doing now. It just dawned on me about 10 minutes ago that I look a lot more heavily tattooed now, even like with my sleeve covered, it looks a lot more like visibly tattooed, um, <clears throat> which I don't know why in my mind that didn't click until like 10 minutes ago. Um, pain wise, holy hell, it was painful. Um, the first hour we started on this side, we did this rose and we did the me familiar and then we did the B and then we came over and we did the rest of the, the lettering and this. Um, oh my gosh. First hour, breeze. After about an hour and a half, started, you know, the hour and a half mark, started to feel the pain. By two hours, my leg was involuntarily twitching. Like I could not stop it. We had a break and I was like, breathe you're good yeah no <laughs> my leg would not stop twitching i could not stop it it was driving me insane like actually insane um we like moved into a different position i was kind of laid on a massage bed with my head like over the edge um so that it could stretch out because it does go like into like my neck almost a little bit. Um, this whole area here. Oh, <gasps> mm. I felt that in my mouth, which is a whole new experience. Like I could feel like my tongue vibrating when he did just this section here. The B was painful, like with oh painful like especially down here i can touch it because i've got a second skin on um so the head was fine the wings were fine the body was fine but from here down to here the pain the pain i could not believe and then these little leaves at the bottom like this area on both sides super tender it felt like it was a lot lower down it felt like it was like my nipple but it was not but it felt that way but um yeah both sides just like from here down pain the pain um i'm gonna chill watch some of the john ways john wayne gacy tips chill out for a little bit hopefully the redness because i'm pretty red um the redness will hopefully go down in the next couple of hours and then i'll be back to talk a little bit more about everything else good morning oh my gosh uh so last night was eventful i will say um I slept, but it felt like I was half awake all night. You know that, like, when you're asleep, but you're aware of, like, your surroundings? Um, I don't know if it's a mum thing, because I never experienced it before I had Zach, but definitely a mum thing for me. But then last night, that is how it was. I was very aware of how I was laid. Um, and I realised that I, I don't sleep on my back, but last night I subconsciously like was sleeping on my back. Like I fell asleep on my side and I put myself on my back and I just don't do that. Um, and I think it's because of this centrepiece, like as I was laid, my boobs was like squishing it and it got like tight and, and painful, but I have ink sacs developing especially on the b if you can see that you can see that it kind of looks blurry and like all the lines look thicker and that is just the ink and the plasma 
coming out and helping this heal um probably two or three more days and i will take this off oh that was shaky <laughs> um this entire thing's being filmed on my phone so i'm sorry that nothing is smooth <laughs> but um yeah two or three days and i will take this off i'll let the ink sack out it's just excess ink and plasma so i'll take this out this off wash it and then just moisturize it and hopefully i shouldn't scab my whole arm didn't scab so i'm assuming this one either especially with it being line work um at this point i might get a scab on the head and like here but i don't see it because i've got such a good ink sack for those areas already so yeah that is everything if you've got any questions about my tattoos or anything um if i've missed anything out basically if you've got questions leave them down before down below i cannot talk it's far too early for my brain to be working but yeah um if you've got any questions leave them down below i will answer them thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe would you like to see more tattoo content for from me um yeah let me know i will see you on the next one bye